Monday morning in Tokyo, it is 8 a.m. and the Shinkansen Super Express is leaving for Osaka, whisking passengers out into the countryside and making the 350-mile journey in just two and a half hours. Every day, the scene is repeated for still more passengers across the globe. In France, from Paris to Bordeaux. In Spain, from Madrid to Barcelona. In Taiwan, from Taipei to Kaohsiung. Today, throughout the developed world, high-speed trains are a fact of everyday life for millions of people, and soon will be for millions more. Increasingly, countries are turning to high-speed trains to meet the growing transportation needs of the 21st century. These other countries have looked at their futures and said, modern high-speed rail has got to be a part of it, and an essential part of it. Without it, we can't grow, we can't prosper, we can't build the kind of society, the kind of economy that we want. Is it reliable? Is it high-tech? Yes. Are there beautiful trains to travel on? Absolutely. Sleek, modern, and employing the latest state-of-the-art technology, the story of high-speed trains begins nonetheless more than 50 years ago. In 1964, the first Tokaido Shinkansen left Tokyo, moving at speeds of 130 miles per hour and shuttling 100 million passengers in its first three years in service. It was an unparalleled success and set off a transportation revolution worldwide. In 1981, the TGV began operations in France, drawing a billion passengers in 20 years and revolutionizing the way Europeans travel. Today, 12 countries throughout the world have high-speed rail systems in place, with the reach of new high-speed lines ever expanding. Eight more countries, including Mexico, Russia, and Argentina, are currently building or planning their own high-speed systems, and will soon have them up and running. No European country, certainly not Japan or many countries in Asia these days would think of moving into the future without high-speed rail. I mean, they're all investing in it. Every European country, every part of the European community is investing heavily in what will be a first-class high-speed rail system that will connect the entire European community. Today's high-speed trains are faster, quieter, and more energy efficient than ever. Today's eighth generation Shinkansen trains routinely operate at 185 miles per hour. The French TGV now operates at 200 miles per hour in regular revenue service. China has recently opened a new train line designed for speeds of up to 217 miles per hour. And high-speed train technology has not yet reached its limits. An operational German ICE train has reached 252 miles per hour. Test runs on Japan's Shinkansen have reached 277 miles per hour. And in 2007, an experimental French TGV train reached a world record rail speed of 357 miles per hour. Thanks to the latest improvements, it's now possible to go from downtown London to downtown Paris in two hours and 15 minutes. And of course, it's getting enormous ridership. For passengers, travel on high-speed trains offers unparalleled reliability, safety, and accessibility, rivaling point-to-point -point travel times for air travel on trips up to 500 miles and easily outstripping travel times by automobile and conventional rail service. In the densest urban centers in the world, high-speed trains provide a complementary transportation technology that eases congestion on highways and frees capacity at increasingly crowded airports. By seamlessly integrating high-speed trains with airports and other modes of transits, such as subways, light rail, buses, and commuter rail, high-speed trains offer passengers a functional transportation alternative, while at the same time promoting sustainable development patterns within existing urban cores. Clean electrically powered high-speed train technology also pays critical environmental dividends. One traveler's trip on a French TGV high-speed train produces four to five times less carbon emissions than travel over the same distance by air. Money spent today is gonna to go a long way uh, in the future, and it's evidenced by the other countries that have high-speed rail. People are happier that they're getting to work on time. They're paying less for transportation costs, and they're helping the environment. California, I believe, has to look to high-speed rail as the number one priority. If you look at the other countries of the world that have high-speed rail systems, Japan, France, Germany, 
California is about the same scale and we're approaching the same density of people. You know, France has 55, 60 million people. We're going to reach 50 million people by 2030, it's estimated. California is perfectly fitted and set up in where the major centers of population are, where the distances are, where the people need to move. San Francisco to Los Angeles, that's about 400 miles, 420 miles. Those are systems that lend themselves to high-speed rail. Around the world, high-speed trains are a proven, safe, and environmentally sustainable technology for meeting the transportation needs of the 21st century. By offering a fast, frequent, and enjoyable travel alternative, high-speed trains fit in perfectly with a regional intercity transportation matrix that works. It can work in California, too.